Greetings viewers, Sun God 2009 I got here a Dell XPS 200 which comes with a Pentium 4 running Windows XP and had an 80 gigabyte hard drive which is taken out I'm trying to recover all the files that's on there I think this motherboard is aging but the video I'm making today is you can upgrade your CPU on here now the board now this thing did came with Pentium 4 as I stated but this thing can support a Pentium D processor so the purpose for the purpose of this video I'm going to show you guys that it is possible to upgrade a CPU on this type of machine. Now note, no this thing does not run Intel Core 2 Duo because this is a 2005 model um, machine or 2006 model so it's either 10 or 11 years old and this is not designed for Intel Core 2 Duo. Now if you want to do something like that I suggest do a little modification. Um, another video might be coming in possibly tomorrow or the next day since I get the motherboard. I will be doing a video of me putting a new motherboard into that machine and you will notice the new upgrade and you'll start to see what I did to that machine but it'll be up tomorrow. I'll let you guys know what's going on and I'll leave and I'll leave a li link into the description on where I took apart that machine anyway you know what my yapping I'm gonna go ahead and take oh, we're just gonna open up the processor and go from there so enjoy the video Sorry about that. I didn't even know my camera just cut off. Must have ran out of storage space. But anyway, continuing on. Okay, that looks simple enough. Alright, the next thing you want to do before you do absolutely anything.
you want to make sure that the processor fits you don't you do not want to risk bending those pins down there because they are sensitive you bent those pins, you are screwed and you would need a new motherboard so please before you do absolutely anything make sure you you see if the um, processor matches and if you're not sure don't put the processor in yet do a comparison check like this one and look at that one in fact uh, give me a minute Hold on a moment. Sorry about that. I had to clean them up. Now I'm back. So, as you can see, it looks like the connections are identically the same. That's what you want to be aware of. If they're not the same, I have to clean that up. If they're not the same, as I said, you're going to be in big trouble then you obviously wasted your money on the board so anyway here we go as I since I know these are the same they're gonna fit now you want to be careful with one of these as I said these are sensitive these are very delicate these are very sensitive please when you're doing this do this with care and take really take really in consideration if it doesn't go in don't force it in take it out and try it again watch what I did allow me to demonstrate Make sure it's seated properly. Make sure nothing's out of line. If there's something out of line, take take it out and make sure it's seated pretty well, firmly. And then after that, put this on top and make sure it locks in. If it doesn't lock in, don't force again. As I said, do not force it in. Be very careful when doing this. You don't want to damage the socket. It's just like you're trying to deal with a little baby. You want to be you want to handle it with delicate care. I get a little tightness out of it. I'm not liking that. Get that off. Let me make sure I didn't do any damage to the pins. Excellent. I didn't do any damage to the pin, as you can see. It's a little difficult to see, but it's there. You are going to feel a little tight snug in here and there, but that's okay. That's natural. As long as it goes in, that's what matters. So, here we go. To be honest with you guys, I'm kind of nervous. I hope I didn't do any damage to the processor socket. One of the most important things also you should have done, I should have done, and I think I should advise you, is take a picture. If you take a picture of what it looks like, how it's seated, I think it's going to help you out even more. It's going to benefit even more. But, um, okay. 
seems to be sitting in well. Holding in well, too. Now I'll be right back. I'm going to go get me a thermal paste, put it on, and put the heat sink back in and go from there. Also, I don't know if you can see it, but if your fan is ever dirty, well, if you want to take the opportunity to take the fan out and clean it. This one does look a bit dirty, but I'm going to leave it alone for now because this is not really my computer. I'm just going to just, I'm just going to use this as video demonstration purpose. So, excuse me as I get back. There we go. Not the most perfect paste adding in the world, but it will fit. It will do the job. Now we're just going to go back and put it back in the heat sink. Yeah, I do apologize that there's no light over here. I really am sorry about that. I do hope you can see it though. Make sure it sits in. Okay, awesome. Awesome. It fits in well. I would have to say that this has got to be the most easiest CPU installation I've done so far out of any other machines. I mean, if it was out of there, it would take a. It wouldn't take that long either. But I'm talking about like. If, it go, if you're going after an old-fashioned computer, well, it's a different story. Let me get the hard drive and see how well... Well, actually, better yet, I think I should just plug it in and see how well it goes. See if it'll run. If it won't run, then, well, the fault's on me. So excuse me, guys, while I get everything together. I'll be right with you. Alright, the moment of truth. I know this thing is going to automatically power on once I put this plug in. So I'm just going to, for the safety precaution, I'm going to have my hands by it in case if we have a fire, well, I'm going to be able to pull it out. So, as the name of what UXW Bill says, smoke test! Came on on its own. Ah, it works. No smoke. Awesome. Sweet. Well, there you have it, folks. Here's an upgrade. That's how you upgrade your uh, Dell XPS 200. If you have any questions, Please leave it into the link below. Leave your question in the, into the comment. I'm sorry. Please leave a question into the comment below. Um, you can get one of these Penny and D Pescots on eBay or Amazon or whatever online. I mean, you'd, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to find it out there. But um, yeah, other than that, it's cool. Let's take a look in the BIOS information before we uh, end the video. Yep, we got a Pentium D, which is running 2.8 gigahertz. Not bad. And it's a dual core. We got good memory. All right. Now, let me see. So performance wise, it should, the multi core should be enabled. Perfect.
Note, you're not going to be getting any hyper-threading, but you are going to be getting a dual core out of the CPU. So you're going to be getting good performance. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe now. And don't miss another video. And I'll catch you next time. Later.